This is an excerpt from the Whores and Bods answer to the fifteen comforts of whoring. Recorded for the LibriVox Coffee Break Collection number ten, War and Conflict. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This excerpt has been read by Rosalind Carlyle. The Second Comfort of Whoring Answered now when a maid has cracked her maidenhead by being once or twice sir brought to bed her credit then so broke that all her wit and policy cannot a husband get but yet not being out of heart she cries from marriage keeping i shall be more wise for if he's not a fool he soon will find i had before i'd him to some been kind then how he'd call me arrant bitch and whore and swear some stallion had been there before, then leave me wherefore I will single live, and my invention to decoying give. For as I was by fickle man betrayed, so men by me too shall be bubbles made, till the dull sots clandestine means do take in robbing masters for a strumpet's sake, for which if they should at the gallows swing, their end I'd in some merry ditty sing. End of the Second Comfort of Whoring Answered Recorded for the LibriVox Coffee Break Collection Number 10 War and Conflict